Hey there, hi there, ho there. Welcome to Let It Run Its Course, son. That seems like a strange beginning, but most of you know I've been sick. I've been really sick. This this was worse than the vid last February. This was that the vid was three days. This has been a week, and I'm climbing out. But why do I call this let it run its course, son? Because I've been wanting to go outside. I had my live show this morning right here. I and we have had that kind of temperature for over a week and it's been bitter and difficult especially while sick although I've been stuck indoors I haven't gone out for easily a week uh, but now today's temperature look at that zero zero degrees Celsius and it is sunny as can be so I want to go outside and go for a good long walk. And I keep hearing my mom say, let it run its course, son. And I kind of had to say, hey, mom, love you. But why didn't you tell me on Sunday? Yes, I want to give an example before I go outside and show you what it's like out there. So stay tuned. But I want to give you an example of why she gives me that advice. Sunday morning, I woke up feeling much better. And so what did I do? Oh, excuse all the mess of the house, but what did I do? I got really busy. I mixed all the soil for my grow. I, I got everything together. I cleaned the kitchen. I did a bunch of stuff, even some laundry. And then I just got sick again. And I should have been listening. I bet your mom was trying to tell me, let it run its course, son, because she always used to. I would be sick in the moment I'd start feeling a little bit better. I'd hop out of bed and I'd go start doing stuff and she'd say, stop it. Get back in bed. Just rest. Your body isn't ready yet. So I'm going out anyway. Sorry, mom, but I'm listening. I'm going out anyway. But my plan was go to my P.O. box it's a two kilometer there and back and check to see if there's mail. But then I heard mom and no, I'm going to go for a small walk around the block and see how it tires me out and then come back. I'm going to probably go two or three blocks around, but stay tuned. Let's morph into Gorg outside. Morph complete. Here we are outside. And just as my mom said not to, I mean, to let things run their course, a good example of that, when putting your winter stuff on to go outside, tires you out, you're not healthy yet. So I reminded myself of that. I'm out here, I'm a little tired already, and I've gone 20 steps. But I'm going to walk a little bit, I'm going, this fresh air feels beautiful, and it's changed my mood. The sun is out. Yes, it is white and beautiful outside. There's something absolutely gorgeous about winter, especially if you wait long enough that most people have done their walks because... If you're one of those people that don't shovel your walk, think about the older folk. Anyways, I'm listening to my mom. Oh, the air, the wind just blew there and there was that fresh air instead of the inside air of a house. And yes, I can open my windows. And yes, my dear friend Logia, I could just sit on my porch. But I've got to start getting my muscles moving or they'll atrophy. I certainly find that in my older age, that uh, older age, in my older years, that if I don't use it, I'm going to lose it. So I'm using it. Look at our alleyway behind my house. 
My house is probably about three there, right about there. Kind of a boring video, and I'm sorry, folks. But th remember that this channel is my therapy and yours, too. Many of you say that you watch me on a constant because it helps you with your anxiety and with your mood and things like that. Well, you know what? Doing these videos, and I've said it many times, thousands of times, doing these videos helps my mood, helps my anxiety. And as a retired person, it's my hobby. This gives me something to do. For a week, I haven't been doing much at all except for a live show, and even that hasn't been that well with my pain. So I'm just so happy to be out here again. So now I'm going to walk a little bit just for me, and I'll come back to you. Here we are. I didn't walk that far, three blocks to the top of the rooftop gardens, Bridgeland, Riverside. And you can see there's a wind blowing. But what an absolutely beautiful day we had. I'm a little winded. And I had to keep reminding myself to walk slower. Because I get out here and I want to go. It smells so nice and it feels so good. And the air feels, after what we've had, so warm. So I've quite enjoyed it. And I'm the only person to have visited up here since at least a day. And that's kind of cool, hey, hey. So, folks, I think we're going to end this here. No, I'll stay tuned. I'll just wind it down when I get home and tell you how I feel after six blocks round, city blocks, almost a kilometer, we'll see. We're home. <coughs> yeah, Cookie, we're home. There she is, watching out the window because somebody drove up, she had to bark. Anyways, I'm going to put up here, I walked 2,300 steps. Not bad. And zero of 153 of 150 heart points. So it's a start. It's a start. And when I walked, I walked really slow, and I had to keep reminding myself to slow down. And I can tell when I've done too much, because if I've done too much, I'm going to cough. I have not coughed since I left this house. I have not coughed since I got back in this house. So I do know I'm on my way up. I do know I did not push too hard. I do know that I, mum, will let it run its course. Friends, I love you all. Peace and cheers. See you on Friday live.